Hey y'all, it's Nick from Undefeated Productions. Welcome back to another video. In this room, we talk about the trade that my New York Mets made. Very, very confusing trade, by the way. Acquiring Darren Ruff from the San Francisco Giants in exchange for four players. J.D. Davis, Thomas Sapucky, Nick Swock, and Carson Seymour. Before we get started, as always, hit that like and subscribe. Comment down below who you think won this trade. The Mets win this trade, the Giants win. Let's have a conversation down below, especially since I'm a Mets fan. And Drew is a Giants fan. Watch the 3-2 pitch. Alrighty, so this trade, very, very, very confusing. Darren Ruff heading over to the Mets this season. 216 batting average, 11 home runs, and 268 at-bats. Horrible defender, 701 OPS. We look at his 2022. He pitched... Holy cow, I had no idea that he pitched. Aaron Ruff pitched in uh, 2021. Anyways, looking at his splits versus left-handed pitching this season, 111 at-bats, 252 average. Oh, where did it go? 252 average uh, with an 886 OPS uh, and a with nine home runs versus lefties. So the Mets here, they bring in a move to face or to to get a right-handed batter that can mash lefties 886 OPS that's exactly what we needed we were looking to platoon at our DH we already kind of platoon at DH anyways they get they're platooning at DH and they look to get someone that can hit just mash left-handed pitching and that's what they do they're going to platoon Darren Ruff with Daniel Vogelback of course Ruff has not appeared in a game with the Mets and we'll see how this turns out. Will this platoon at DH work? Of course, they were platooning uh, platooning the DH with J.D. Davis, who's going over to San Francisco. Uh, of course, San Francisco, he's a Bay Area native from Elk Grove, uh, California. And J.D. Davis this season, 238 uh, batting average, four home runs, 21 RBIs, OPS of 683. This season, or as a career numbers, 266 average, 42 home runs, 781 OPS. Of course, 2019 with the Mets was absolutely incredible. Uh, 307 average, 22 home runs. He looked like an absolute amazing trade by Bo Brody Van Wagenen from the Astros. But of course, ever since then has been on the downfall. Also going to this trade with uh, J.D. Davis to the Giants, Thomas Zapucky. Uh, this year, <laughs> 60.75 ERA in one and a third innings pitch. Two strikeouts, 7.5 whip. His career numbers are not much better. 27 ER and 5 innings pitched. So far in the majors, he's looked like a useless, just left-handed hurler. I don't know what's up with him. Maybe the Giants can fix him. But he wasn't looking like anything too special. Now, the Giants are also getting Carson Seymour, 23-year-old, 6'6", 260 uh, right-handed pitcher. With a 60 fastball, 50 curveball, 50 slider, 45 changeup, 50 control, overall of 40. He has been very, very solid in the Mets minor league system. As long as with lefty Nick Swock, 24 years old, 6'3", 230, 50 fastball, 55 slider, 45 changeup, 50 control, overall of 40. They were both low in the Mets organization. They were both breaking out this year. And they're both 28 and 29 in the Giants organization. So... Overall, in this trade, the Mets give up what seems like a bolt load. Keep in mind, Darren Ruff, this season against both, are hitting 211. Darren Ruff, also 35 years old. He is not very young. No, he's 36 years old in six days, excuse me very much. Darren Ruff is 36 years old. We just traded four guys. J.D. Davis... And Zapucky probably would have been enough in my eyes. Or, you know, maybe you hang on to Zapucky or include one guy. They traded a lot. The Giants absolutely fleeced. Farhan Zaidi fleeced the Mets in this trade. So, what do I think about this trade? I think the Mets lost. I think the Mets lost this trade. I think the winners of this trade, San Francisco Giants. Hands down, Giants are winners of this trade. I mean, you guys got a lot for a 36-year-old. Like, J.D. Davis, if he can return to form, he needs a change of scenery. If he can return to form, he's going to be very, very solid. If Zapucky can figure it out, he's going to, he was he was ranked, you know, top 10 in the Mets organization before he just graduated and absolutely sucked. 
The other two prospects, they turn out anything. The Giants win this trade. As a Mets fan, I live in the Bay Area. I'm going to have to see consequences of this for the next couple of years. Let me know in the comments section below who you think won this trade. The Mets overall, they get their platoon right-handed hitter against lefties. Let me know who you think won in the comments below. Hit that like and subscribe. Come back later for another video. I'll see you all next one. Thanks for watching.